There we go. We are recording now. So we're going to continue with the three way switch and we are going to consider three scenarios um, with the power applied. Um, well, power applied. Uh, we're going to look at the load at the end of the run, which we already did. And we're just going to um, analyze it slightly again just to give us some base for the next two scenarios and the next one is going to be the load is going to be in the middle of the run so it's going to be switch load and a switch and then the third scenario we're going to consider uh, with the load at the beginning of the run so there's going to be load switch and switch and we are going to apply the same connection scheme in order to establish the proper um well proper connecting of the circuit so it works proper functionality of the circuit right okay so here is the first scenario that we did which was the load at the end of the run so here's a switch three ways uh, and select deselect here's a, here's a switch with three terminals it's a three-way switch it was another switch with three terminals. And there was a load in the form of a light bulb that we did. Here's a symbol of the light bulb. Now, let's just uh, actually, you know what? Uh, this switch, we're just going to position a little bit different. The common is going to be here. So the switch it has a traveler terminal, traveler terminal and a common terminal, and the common has a single pole, double throw. So it can go either here, it, this common can be connected to this traveler or this traveler. That's the indication of that. So let's just complete this um, here and, all right. And here is a traveler terminal. Here's a traveler terminal. And here is a common terminal. Right, so we have the two switches, light bulbs. Let's enclose them in boxes. That indicates that they are in the device boxes. All right, now when you are going to do the assignment, you're going to do it by hand and you're going to use rulers, to make things uh, to make everything straight now try to when you're doing that try to align the boxes here from the top try to align the boxes from the bottom and uh, make the width of the boxes if you can help it um, uh, make them the same just to make things neat if you need to have anything that is a little bit different make sure that it is seen that difference is intended not that the difference uh, is just the way it came out um, um, by some sort of coincidence or accident, right? So I'm going to enclose that light bulb in the box as well. And you see here, there we go, all right? So here we have, here we have the switches. Now, remember the scheme that we are doing, and I'm going to recall that. So here's a text. And so first thing we did was connect the travelers. All right, next thing uh, that we did would be the um, exit, so enter and exit, okay? So um, enter common, exit. Now, every time I do that, I, I, I vary the terminology and the wording a little bit different but the idea is the same uh this is uh, enter common enter exit common it's almost like theatrical language here that we're doing here uh and then the last thing that we need to do it in order to complete the circuit because we need to have the circuit completed all the time uh in order for the current to have a complete closed path to flow right so i'm gonna bring uh, i call it bring it home And then there's going to be another one um, 
I'm going to introduce you to another point of this thing here, but not just yet, all right? Um, so, <clears throat> first thing, we're going to establish the functionality of the circuit. And in order to establish the functionality of every circuit, we're just going to verify that we have a complete pathway for the current to flow. Now, this is just a bit of advice for anything else that you do when it comes to connecting circuits and uh, maybe um, uh, during some other subjects that you are required, you're going to be required to connect circuitry on the breadboards and whatnot. And sometimes the circuitry is going to look a little bit more complicated than other times. Um, if you can help it, all right, establish the current path or the current pathways first. Then once you establish the current pathways, you can tap in with any kind of parallel devices such as voltmeters or anything um, anything that uh, would, uh, would require a parallel connection. And uh, so... <clears throat> I'm just gonna wait for that phone to stop ringing, okay guys? Uh, okay, so once you establish the current pathways, uh, then uh, it, it was going to help you uh, with building of the circuits. And also, quite often, uh, you're going to be required to verify the circuits uh, connections before you turn things on. And if you take the same approach uh, while you're verifying the circuits, it is going to make it so much easier. As long as you have that kind of structural way of operations, it, uh, it always makes our lives easier and it makes, uh, makes it easier for us to, you know, to, to function within the operations that you need to perform. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's, uh, let's first, let's establish the functionality and then we're going to uh, continue with the logistics of, the, of, of everything else. All right. So what do we have first? It says connect the travelers. All right. Let's connect the travelers. I'm going to choose different color for uh, for the wires just just so we can see things. Mm -hmm. All right, that looks like it's a good color. All right, connect the travelers. Here, traveler is connected, and the other traveler is connected. All right. Now, since these two will never meet, I mean this one here. No matter how you flip the switch this will never connect to that. Is it possible, and is it going to be correct, and is it going to be allowable, and is it going to be okay if we connect the travelers in a different way? If we connect the travelers this way. Is there going to be anything wrong with that? No, you can still connect it that way, right? But for the simplicity of the whole thing, we're just going to connect the travelers this way here. So first, we took care of connecting travelers. Then enter common, exit common. So what are we going to enter common? Well, we're going to do it with a hat, okay? So first we are supplying the power with the hat terminal. Uh, just going to call it hot terminal. And notice I'm doing this thing at the end, just so it helps me to draw things clearly, because if I establish those here and uh, in the beginning, and looks like maybe I want to have neutral above the heart and uh, whatever else, well, um, then I'll have to erase it and uh, redo it uh, for the clarity purposes. So hard to terminal. So enter common, right? Here it is, enter common, and exit common. And it is going to go. Um, to the light bulb terminal one, well, or the hot terminal. And notice this here, this common has a permanently connected hot to it. Now this common is also going to provide a hot terminal to the light bulb or the load, but it is going to be called a switched hot, okay? Because it goes through the switches. Now, so we have the travelers, there we go. We have the uh, enter common, exit common, enter common, exit common, and bring it home. Well, let's bring it home. Why? Because we need to complete the circuit. 
we need to complete the current path. So we're just going to go grab it from the other terminal of the load. And we're going to go through both of the boxes. Uh, my mouse is. And that is going to be the neutral terminal. Right. Also, what we need, we need to make sure, and I'm just going to change the color here. Uh, there we go. Here. Here. And let's just be consistent with things. Just going to make sure that we get the. Ah, uh, why not? No, no. Yeah. So here's the hot. Here's the neutral. And of course, we're going to indicate that there is a ground present in the system. And we're going to indicate, um, uh, let's make this box a little bit bigger. And so this one here. Uh, yeah, that's why when you do this assignment, and I'm going to ask you to do this by hand, you're going to do all kinds of things like this. And once you establish the clearest way of drawing things, then you can transfer that on to the final version um, of your uh, of your handwork. OK. And we're going to indicate that the first box is connected to the ground. OK. Or that it is bonded. Now, because it's EMT, electrical metallic tubing in Canada, we don't have to carry the ground with a wire. We are going to carry the ground or bonding through the metallic structure of the device boxes. If it were not a metallic raceway, if it was uh, uh, PVC plastic, plastic PVC doesn't conduct electricity, then we will have to uh, carry another wire that carries the grounding, which would be the grounding can be done by uh, a bare copper wire or uh, green jacketed. But if it's, a, <clears throat> if it's a PVC raceway and conduits, you would just run a green jacketed wire as a ground or bond, all right? So here we, uh, here we go, all right? Now, also what we're going to do now well, before that, uh, do we have a complete pathway or possibility of complete pathway? Yes, we do. We're going to leave from the hat and we have to come back to the neutral. That's how we complete the current pathway in this case. So we're going to go here, travel that to the comma, and then this comma is connected to the traveler by the single pole of the switch. And then, yes, we have a further connection there. Do we have a connection? Yes, we do have a connection. Okay, da, 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 da. And we are going to come back home onto the neutral. And yes, we do have a current uh, path that is closed. We have a closed circuit. Then the electricity is going to flow. And of course, if we flip this switch a little bit different, uh, this way here, of course, that is going to turn the light bulb off. The light is going to be turned off. There is no complete current pathway because we are leaving hot. hot. Can we come back to neutral? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, OK, here's a cliff. All right, there's no current flow. That's it, the light bulb is off. And of course, if we are going to flip this switch around like that here, then of course the light bulb is going to be on again because we do have a current flow going through, all right? So here is the way we turn, okay. Get the travelers, enter common, exit common, bring it home, right? Travelers, connected, all right? Enter common, bang, right there. Exit common. Here it is. Bring it home. There it is. All right. Now, there's one more thing we're going to have to verify, except uh, as, uh, aside from that, we are going to have to make sure that there's grounding and bonding, but that is pretty much. Uh, I don't want to use the word assumed because as, assuming things can be dangerous, but uh, it is obvious. It is a must that things have to be grounded. So it goes without saying 
that's uh, pretty much more proper way of, of, of putting it. All right, but there's one more thing that we have to verify to comply with the code or present code. All right, uh, we need to make sure that every single box has a neutral connected that is not a switched neutral. Switched neutral is not a good idea anyways, but uh, I'm just mentioning that. We need to make sure that every box, every device box has a neutral wire going to it that is has a direct connection to the neutral terminal of whatever supplies the power. So let's see this box here. Does it have a neutral? Yes, it goes right through this box. The neutral cable conductor is present in that box. Good. We're going to the next box. Yes, this box does have a neutral wire. That's good. And this box also has a neutral wire. That's good. We're just going to make sure that when things are off, the light bulb or the load is directly connected to neutral and it is not directly connected to hot. Is it? There's a switched hot. Okay, so there is no direct connection. It goes through the switches and there's a direct connection to the neutral. So that's good. We're safe. Well, sort of, right? We're never 100% safe. It's not safe. No, we better be careful. All right, so, <clears throat> so that is uh, pretty much it. Also, what we're, gonna need to, what we're going to establish here, we're going to establish that these are conduits, all right? So here is a conduit. I'm just going to make sure that, yeah, there we go. And here's going to be a conduit, all right? And maybe, um, here is going to be a conduit or not. And we're going to put a little bit, some indicators here. And what can we say here? Um, well, we could say three, or we could say, uh, first of all, we can say half inch, EMT, all right, and we can also say three, three, 14, 14, American wiring gauge conductors. Right. Or you can just say three, uh, 14 AWG, right? Uh, over here, you can say the same thing. Uh, where is my text? Switch to something else and get text again. Uh, I'm just going to copy that. Ay, ay, ay. Paste. All right, and I'm just going to bring that to the indicator. Now you can you can play with the size of that. I'm just doing this thing here on the Photoshop. So yes, can we size it down uh, to make it kind of more uh, you know, more better looking? All right. Uh, all right. That looks more better. It looks more better. All right. Uh, and then uh, what can we do here? Um, well, um, in this case, I would just bring the indicator. I'll bring the indicator because there's two full on the bottom here. So I could bring it here and I could say, um, we could say something like for, uh, we can just say something like one, 14, two, and MD90, right? We could say that. And just have the indicator there. So here's a conduit, here's a conduit. There's no conduit, here's just indicating that there's a cable going there into this, uh, in this case. So now, uh, if you get something like that, uh, you are you pretty much um, have some sort of idea of what raceway to build. Um, and what wires to pull in. Uh, so we need to pull three uh, three conductors. Of course, the colors are going to be, uh, uh, you're going to have to follow some sort of color code because neutral, it has to be white, all right? Now, you can use these cable, these conductors as black or you can use some other colors. There is a common practice that uh, the switched hot, um, you can, if you can, if you have it, uh, you can, 
it's a good idea to run it as red cable instead of black, but you can run also black cable, right? Uh, <clears throat> All right, so this is the first scenario, and this is the load at the end of the run. Okay, now let's create another file here, and then we're going to do the uh, load at the end, uh, in the middle of the run. Okay, so let's just quickly draw the, uh, the switches here. Here's a switch. Uh, Yeah, let's do it this way here. And let's do the poll on it and indicate that this thing switches. And I'm just quickly going to copy, paste it, and going to just reverse it here. Is it more or less the same size? Yes, it is. Okay. Here we have that. All right, I'm just going to copy and paste it here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to cut it. Cut and paste just so we can position things the way we want. And of course, we're going to establish a load, which is going to be a light bulb, da, 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 da. Um, pen right here. Yeah. And let's make that light bulb have some sort of terminals. And that's a symbol of a light bulb. And now again, I'm going to um, cut and paste just so I can move things around. Okay, so we're getting that one in the middle of the run, okay? So here we're going to position our switch right here. Another switch, the light bulb, light the loads, we can position somewhere here. Let's go a little bit further. And how about we position that a little bit here? So now we have, we have, um, We have established our devices, okay. and uh, we're going to start the connections. All right? Let's uh, let's see what we have done. Travelers, and enter common, exit common, bring it home. All right. Let's just uh, copy this and bring that scheme here. Can I paste it? No. There we go. Here's our scheme to follow. All right, so let's do this. Let me just get the proper colors here that, uh, that I used in the previous one. So here, and here we go, and we have the color now. Good. All right, so what do we do? Same thing that we did before. We just have things arranged in a different way. Connect the travelers. Let's connect the travelers. Here's one connected. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to flatten the image so I'm not getting shut out from the drawing space. Okay, connect the travelers. There we go. Travelers are connected. Now they are connected. Okay, so they are connected now. Now enter common and to uh, exit common. All right, so here we're going to enter the common with the hat. And we're going to apply the hat, switched hat, to one of the terminals of the load. So let's do that. Uh, here, 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 and here. There we go. And we're going to, so we have the Enter common with the hat, exit common with the switched hat, and we're going to bring it home. How do we bring it home? Bring it to the neutral. Here, and kaboom, 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 kaboom. 
there we go yeah so let's just change the color of the thing so here's our hot here's our neutral terminal and of course we're going to make sure that there is ground established so here's ground Now, before we connect everything else, anything else, do we have a possibility of this thing functioning the way we want to, right? Establish current pathway? Sure, why not? Coming out from hot, going to the first switch, traveling on the traveler. Oh, we have no connection. All right, well, we have, what happens if we flip this switch? Well, let's flip this switch. right here so this well, this is the way we will turn the light on okay do we have a connection from hot to neutral and eh, 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 eh. going this way yes there is a connection it goes through the load comes back home on neutral good and if we turn this off so we can you can uh, you can have this um, uh, you can analyze the circuit uh, this way we're flipping the switches I'm just uh, naming the terminals here so here's Traveler, here's Traveler, here's Common, here's Common, here's Traveler, and here is another Traveler here, okay? Um, oh, it looks like a plus. All right, there we go. Now, uh, let's establish some boxes and let's start establish some conduits and then we're going to verify the neutral. So let's just, um, let's just get the text here and go, Verify neutral, and that's going to be the last point that we need to that we need to establish here. Okay, so let's get the boxes done. Here, how are we going to do the boxes? This one is going to be like this. All right, there's another box right here. Listening to my mouse click. All right, here. All right, here's a device box, and we might as well indicate that uh, we are grounding the the first device box since it's EMT. Now I would just spread those apart a little bit further, but I'm not going to do it here now. But of course, we're going to indicate the conduits uh, here. Uh, but before we do that, let's verify the neutral. Is it going to every device box? All right, so here's the neutral. Right. Is it going to the first box? Yes, it is passing right through it. So it is present in this device box. Uh, let's take a look at this device box here. Is the neutral uninterruptedly going to the neutral terminal? Uh, yes, it is. Now, let's say, is, do we have that? In the, no, we don't. Okay. Well, what can we do here? We can do, we can, we're just going to have to bring it and just leave it not connected. What can we do here? Well, we could um, just draw it. Let me get the proper color for this. We can just uh, continue from this point here, or we can continue from this point right here. And you're going to have to make things a little bit bigger. Jump over and continue to this box right here. And you're just going to indicate um, That, that things are not connected here. And there is no reason for which this text is in red. It just happens to be the color of my text and I'm just not going to change it now. All right. Usually you wouldn't do the, any of the colors. You would just draw things uh, with uh, one color and that's it because that's how some of the drawings uh, basically are done. <clears throat> uh, now, so do we have neutral everywhere now? Yes, we have it here, we have it here, we're here. Notice 
that I did a little jump over here. There are different conventions uh, that um, uh, certain parts of industry accept um, as far as connecting things. And you might, well, you, you might meet different ways of doing it. Let's establish this convention here. If two wires are crossing like this, it is not acceptable because we don't know whether these connect or not. Sometimes there's a convention if two wires are running across each other like this. And if there's a dot, that means there's a connection. If there is no dot, that means there is no connection. The problem with this is, in reality, is that sometimes you're going to get the blueprints, which means, well, uh, there's a reason why those drawings they're called blueprints it just stuck with uh, with us uh, from because those things were actually blue uh, but uh, let's just call them drawings they are being tossed around and carried around the construction site and uh, sometimes uh, dirt gets on them and sometimes there's a possibility that um, uh, you don't know whether this is a dot or this is some kind of a coffee smidge or whatever it is right so let's abandon the idea uh, this way, let's just make sure that if there is a connection, make a dot. If there is no connection, just make the wire jump over. Just like that. So now things are nice and clear. All right. Let's let's not have that. Let's have this and that. Okay. Now we are assuming this convention for our project. Whenever you're going to work for whatever companies, they might assume different uh, rules of uh, operations and different, so you're just going to have to familiarize yourself uh, with the ways they are being done wherever you go, whatever you do. All right, I'm just going to erase that. Okay, so this is an example of the, um, of the circuit with the load at the in the, main, in the middle of the run, the power is supplied here. Now, let's get the load at the beginning of the run, okay? Now, do not do this. If I'm just going to layer and flatten the image, what, I've, what I have got, what I've got uh, in the past, people submitting the assignments, is they would take the whole thing And they would flip it like a mirror image. And they would say, there you go. I submitted my drawing because the load is in the beginning of the run. No, the load is just on the left. It's still at the end of the run because the power is supplied here. Now. Okay, so please don't do that. We're going to put the load in the beginning of the run and we're going to supply power to it. Right. Okay. So let's establish one more. Uh, let's establish one more file here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this just so I don't have to draw things again. Edit copy, paste, and I'm just going to erase the connections here. And oh, this thing just keeps popping up. I let me tell you. Just erase the connections. Bada beam, bada boom. It's going to take quicker for me to do that then draw things right from beginning, from scratch. Yeah, yeah. All right, oh, there was one more wire that we need to erase here. There we go. So we're just gonna exchange these two.
cut paste the other side Add it, cut. I said cut. Why is it not cutting? Oh yeah, because it's here. Is this one here? Cut, edit, paste. So that is going to be in the beginning of the run. The oh, I just love the new version of the Photoshop. Sometimes th things are being improved without asking if people like it or not. All right, let's just bring that one a little bit further. So I'm just going to, is that the one? Yeah, that's the one here. Edit, cut, paste. We're there. Okay, and also what we're going to do, um, do we have the, um, oh. that's the one. I'm just gonna bring this thing to sort of like an equal height to all of them. And then I'm just going to go layer, flatten image, and I'm going to erase this ground and we're just going to indicate that we're providing the ground to the first box. Let's get the pan here and here and here. All right, so here's our ground provided to the first box. Uh, and since it's EMT, that's all we need to do in Canada. In the States, you have to run the wire. Uh, all right, so, what do we do? We do the same thing. Travelers, connect the travelers. Let's connect the travelers. Well, I'm just going to get the color of the wires. Here's a traveler and here's a traveler. Let's connect these two here. Connected and connected. Enter common, which means hat to common. All right, let's do that. Here's the hat, let's bring it to common. Now we're going to bring it through this box. And uh, it goes to the common right here. And then exit common, which is we're going to make that common right here, connect to the light bulb, one of the terminals. Okay, let's do that. Connect that here, go through here. We can go that way. And we're going to go through the conduit here and enter the box. And I'm just going to write it like that. Of course, I'm just going to like, uh, I'm doing the like a dirty scratch here. Uh, so what you're going to do is after that, see what you can improve in order to make things more you know, professional looking. Okay. So we don't have so many like U-turns here like that. Right, but we're just doing the functionality of things. Normally, I would just bring the whole thing up the light bulb, so we don't see so we don't get things like this here. But um, it would just take forever for now. And then bring it home. So from the other side, I'm just going to go there and bring it to the neutral. Do we have the functionality of the circuit? Sure, we do. Look at that. We just use the same thing here. Hot to the switch going here. Yes, yes, and yes, we have a current path. If we flip this switch or the other switch, we can still control the light bulb using these two switches. And that is the uh, load at the beginning of the run. Okay. Now, again, what we have to do the last thing is Verify neutral, All right? And let's just keep that thing 
consistent. Uh, uh, good. There we go. Verify the neutrals. All right. Neutral. Is it going to this box? Yes, it is. Is it going uninterruptedly to any other box? Uh, no. And no. Well, you know what? Let's bring it there. How can we bring it here? Well, we're going to go right from the neutral here. Grab a pen. Yeah. And we're just going to go right in the box. So obviously, we're going to have to make some sort of a pigtail here. But we're just going to indicate the connections. So I'm just going to go right from, well, I would normally just do another connection here just to make sure that this thing is connected and jump over, run here. And we're going to run through all the boxes and leave it there, here. And I'm just going to indicate that there's no connection here. All right, so same thing. So now, do we have neutral going to every box now? We do have it here, we do have it here, and we do have it here. All right, what else do we need to do? Well, normally, we're just going to indicate the conduits here. Here's one, here's one between the two boxes, and here is whatever we did before. So we can put indicators here, indicators here, and it's going to be the same as that. Um, just uh, half inch EMT, half inch EMT. So same information here. And uh, so this is the way of operation when we want to put the um, load at the beginning of the run. What I was trying to what I'm trying to give you this, this is the common scheme here. Travelers, enter common, exit common, bring it home, verify neutral. And of course, if you want to remember that, you can use it as an acronym with the first, uh, with the first letters, it would be uh, uh, T E V, right? So there you go, here's an acronym. I love acronyms. <laughs> All right, that's easy. Eh? Um, okay, as long as as long as you understand the whole thing, um, the whole operation of things, it's easy. And sometimes, if you do a simple circuitry like that, if you're just going to do the like addition or whatever, then sometimes you won't even need to draw things out because you're just going to connect. The, you know that you need to connect the travelers. You need to bring it hard, bring the hard into the uh, the switch, take it out of the other switch, bring it to the load, and the load bring it home. All right. So that is the yeah uh, that is the um, the three scenarios that you're going to have to present and uh, as your assignment. Then you, I'm going to ask you to do it by hand, and I'm going to ask you to do this thing in a specific way on one page. But don't worry about it yet. I just want you to get I just give you a heads up on how the uh, three-way switch system works. Um, last time we saw each other. Now I'm giving you a little bit more of what, uh, what we're going to be dealing with and what situations you may encounter um, at the um, well, in a so-called real world. Right? Uh, of course, uh, uh, sometimes, well, you know what? I might actually ask you to put uh, the colors of the conductors, the single conductors that are going in the, um, in the conduits, right? might as well. Uh, but these are the most common examples uh, of uh, of you encountering in the in the work field. Now, this is if you want to control the light bulb or load uh, with two switches. What if you want to control them with three switches? I'm pretty sure you have seen a situation um, that um, that you have seen one light bulb controlled from three different switches. One on the other, one on one side of the kitchen, the other one on the other side of the kitchen, and the third somewhere in the hallway. And all three control the same uh, light bulb. Right? 
we're not going to go into that, but I'm just going to give you a heads up. That would involve a three, uh, four-way switch. And it's going to be a combination of three-way switches and four-way switch or switches, depending on how many switches you can get, you want to get in between. But that you're going to accomplish next time, next term, uh, when you when you do the when you take the electrical installations course. Now I'm giving you the idea. The I'm I'm putting your foot in the door of the of the ideas of connecting things. All right. Um, that's pretty much it. And as I said to the other guys at eight o'clock. Did you notice that I'm always right? I knew that uh, that uh, that uh, you know, a few days ago it was almost Friday, and look what happens now again. It is Friday. I know I keep saying that, but I think it's hilarious. Okay, there you go. Because I'm such a funny guy. All right, with that happy thought, uh, I'm going to see you next time I see you. All right, thank you guys, and have a great, enjoyable, and safe weekend. Okay, bye guys. Thank you. Thank you. Um, right. Yeah.